to today's video. Welcome to my channel if you've not been here before, but also welcome back if you have been here. Today's video is going to be a nasty girl haul and it is all summer clothing. I bought all of this with intentions that we were gonna be able to go on holiday. Got a bit ahead of myself. Um, don't know if we're still gonna be able to do that, but I'm manifesting it by buying these clothes. <laughs> um, so yeah, all of these clothes were bought in mind of going on holiday. I actually don't really own any summer clothes. Like I own this and a few other items, but the majority of the summer clothes I do own, I no longer fit in. So I thought it was time to kind of revamp my wardrobe. So here we are with the Nasty Girl haul. It's a very big one and I will warn you, some of it I have decided I'm not going to keep. So it's not all hit. Some of it is missed, but um, they may be a hit for you because you may think, okay, that doesn't suit her, but that would suit my body type. So I've done a try on for you for everything apart from bikinis. I just didn't really feel comfortable doing a bikini try on. Um, so I'm gonna show you the bikinis, but they won't be like a try on. Everything else, there'll be a try on so you can see what they look like um, when they're worn. Um, because I know on a lot of websites, the models are obviously different figures to a lot of people, so it's hard to tell. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit of an idea. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so first up, I'm just gonna whiz through the bikinis and show you what I got. I tried to get a selection of completely different kinds of bikinis, so like different shapes, different colors, because I haven't really gone on a sun holiday in like the longest time. I really don't own many bikinis, so I had no idea what was gonna suit me. Um, so yeah, let me show you them now. Okay, so the first one I got is this pink one, which is a bandeau style. And I really like this bandeau style because it's good for sunbathing. Not gonna lie, I'm a person that gets burnt. I don't sunbathe loads. Um, Cause yeah, I'm not great in the heat, but if you're thinking about sunbathing, don't wanna get tan lines, burn lines, um, bandeau option is obviously great for that. Um, I got this in a size 10 and it was actually surprisingly too big. So I've just reordered it in a size eight to see if that will fit. Um, so this is what the top looks like. It's like this really nice ruched um, kind of design. And then the bottom is a high leg bikini with a little bit of ruching at the top here. And so as you can see, it's quite a high leg. And when I saw this off, I was like, that looks huge. To be fair, this one is too big for me, but a lot of them look huge because they're high legs. So it makes the waist look like it's really big, but they're not actually that big. It's just because they like sit up higher, kind of like that, but it's hard to show when it's not tried on. But yeah, I think this color is really cute. I love pink. Pink can look really great with the tan as well. Even though I don't tan, I'll be fake tanning in the summer. So yeah, I love that one. The next one I got is a lemon print bikini. I love lemon print for the summer. All about that lemonade print. So this is the one I got. It's again, high leg, but it's strappy at the sides on this one. And it has a slight ruching on the front. So that looks like that. And then the top is like kind of a classic basic bikini. So it just looks like this. What I like about this is, it's tie adjustable. So you kind of know that like, if you change weight during the time that you own this, you can probably, unless it's drastic, you can probably just adjust the tying at the back, at the front, move this bit either closer or further away, depending on how you want the fit to look like. So in general, if it covers you, um, then this, kind of should fit you mostly if you fluctuate a little bit in between sizes. I think this is a really flattering um, design. So I really do like this one. The next one is a turquoise color. I am obsessed with the turquoise color, especially when you've got a tan. I think it's a really nice summer color. And even though it's super, super bold, it's like an acceptable summer bold. So it kind of fits in, in between that like crazy out there style and like classic style, it kind of merges in between the two, which I think is really nice for a holiday look. Because even though I love crazy out there styles, sometimes if you're on holiday and you're wearing makeup, it doesn't go as well as when you're like fully dressed up with like bold eyeshadow, that kind of thing. So I think this is a great in between for that kind of thing. So it looks really random off, but let me just show you it. So it's like this, and like I said, it looks really random off, but basically what it is, is it has a cross back 
fit, which is why it looks a bit strange holding it up now. And then on the front, you've got this underwire fit, which I think is really great because it's really comfy to wear and it's also very supportive. So if you're on the larger side or want a little bit more support from your bikini, these underwire ones are great. I absolutely love this. And I do think this one is actually very flattering as well. So I really like that one. And the bottom is just, again, a high leg and it actually does have a thong back fit, fit with a little bit of ruching there. So yeah, really like this one. Now, moving on to the next one. The next one is also a lemon print, however, completely different style. So it, it looks like this, which looks strange off, but I'll put a picture on the side. Um, so it looks like this and it kind of ties up at the front with these little ties. And this little bit here, which is drooping at the moment, sits as like an under boob little bit here. Um, this, I, I love, but oh my gosh, I, this is a size 10 and I couldn't fit it. Like it was way too small. Like you literally couldn't move in it without falling out of it. So it's more of a like show bikini. Like if you're literally just gonna sit on the pool side, which is not practical for me. I'm a very active person. I'm dancing around. Like I'm not just gonna sit still all day. Um, so yeah, I'd only recommend this if you're kind of just gonna have it as a show bikini really, not really to actually do anything. Um, or even go in the pool at all, because you might fall out. And that's a 10 and it was still just absolutely not the right fit. So it comes with these lemon bottoms, high leg, and it's actually inside out right now. But if you pull it the right way around, it's just got like, it's got quite a big back. But um, yeah, this one didn't suit me, mainly because it didn't fit. But um, who knows, maybe it'll suit you if you have a smaller chest and I don't have a huge chest to be honest, but um, yeah, if you have a smaller chest and maybe it's just smaller in general, but I'd still size up if I were you. Okay, so this next one is called an animal print. Again, it has little ties here so you can adjust it to fit you. It has a little clip back like that so you can just slot it on and off. Obviously you can put it on more securely once it's on like that so that it doesn't fall off. Um, and this for me personally, I find very flattering. Um, it gives you a nice amount of comfort, like it's quite tight, but it is flattering and comfy and practical. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out of that one. So I do really like this one. Um, and it's quite a nice cute little print. So it's animal print, but it's not like in your face animal print. So it also has these little red bottoms to go with it, which have a little tie on the side. And again, they are high legs, so they look quite big, but they're not as big as they look. Um, so yeah, high leg like that, and it has more support at the back there. So yeah, they're really cute. The next ones I got looked as if they were white online, but actually they are more of a cream color and I don't dig it. Uh, it makes me look super, super pale. Um, let me just turn that the right way around, sorry. Yeah, it makes me look super, super pale, this color. So this is a no from me. And this kind of fit here to me just looks like a nappy. So these ones were a no from me, but the top style I did really, really like. I didn't like the color. Um, but the actual style, if I saw this again in another colour, um, is really cute. So it kind of looks like this. It's just got like that little bit of ruching along the bottom. And then along the back, it's like a tie back. I'm not going to be able to show you that properly. Um, but yeah, it's just got like a tie back. So it's a cute design on the top, not on the bottom, but the colour is a no. I feel like you'd have to have a darker skin for that to suit you. So... Moving on to the next bikini, there's quite a few as you can tell. So the next one is a very popular tie-dye print that's in at the moment. Again, it is a high leg fit and it is this one here. I actually really like that. So it's high leg and it's got a bigger amount of support on the back again. And then the matching top is more of a classic design again. So it's just kind of the triangle shape. And then on the back, which is again hard to show, is um, a kind of lace up detailing. Um, so yeah, I, I really, really like this one. It's supportive, but flattering at the same time. So I'll be keeping that one. This is the next one. It is in a zebra print pattern. And this is the same as the lemon one shape wise. So it looks like this. And then it has this little bit here, which goes under boob. It's tie up. So again, I can't really show you what it looks like off. Um, but this one, I love the zebra print. Absolutely love it. I'm all about it. But um, it just, you literally can't move in it, literally like the other one. Like, as soon as you move in it, you fall out of it. So um, it's it's a really nice look, like, but it's just not very practical. So although I love the print, I'm gonna have to send that one back. I did all the, also try everything on 
um, over the top of underwear and I've left the security seal and everything as well. Okay, so let's move on to the clothes I got now. So first up is shorts. I got two shorts. They're supposedly different styles, but in my opinion, they look exactly the same apart from the size of them. So obviously the fit looks slightly different just because I've got an eight in one and a 10 in one. Um, but actually the shorts I think look so similar when they're off. Um, so here the try on begins. You can actually see how they look and fit when they're on. So the first one up is this one here and it is, let me just check. It's a size A and it's called I Knew You Were Trouble. And it's just these basic denim shorts. I do have denim shorts, but I've outgrown all of them. They don't fit me anymore. You know, you guys got a bit bigger. A combination of lockdown and I just think just getting older. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm old, but like, you know, a lot of my shorts are from like when I was back in college slash high school and I've not repurchased since. So, you know, we've, we've evolved a bit. <laughs> um, so these shorts are a size eight and they just give a slightly different fit. So the eight are much tighter. Um, I would probably not wear them if I was going out for a meal. Whereas the 10, um, actually I could wear for a meal. There's a little bit of room and they fit slightly looser. Um, but I'm sure you'll see that on the try on. So it's just these basic denim shorts, which I do really like. I really like this color. I feel like it goes with most things. So love that. Okay, so this is the second pair of shorts. So this is the size 10. And these ones are called Rip Em Off Ripped Denim Shorts. And to me, they look pretty similar. They're, they're a little bit different, but they're, they're virtually quite similar. I mean, most denim shorts are very similar. Um, so yeah, I've got to decide between whether I want to keep one size or the other or both of them. Um, so I might have a look at the price again. Also, just wanted to say I got all of this when Nasty Girl had 55% off. So hopefully that deal will still be available when I put this up. It may not be though, however, so I'm sorry if it's not. Um, but yeah, a lot of this stuff was a really good deal, which is why I got so much. And I also knew a lot of it wouldn't suit me. So yeah, okay. So the next thing is a summer item, but it's kind of not super, super summery. Basically it's a cardigan. So this is for when it's sunny, but you need a little jacket, but it's also a bright color to brighten up your summer days. So this is the one I got. It's this green cardigan. I thought it was a slightly different color online. However, I do still like it. It's not really a color I'd normally go for, but I do love bright colors. So this is just called the button down for whatever fluffy knit cardigan. I got it in a size medium just so it would fit in a nice cozy way. So it's just this really fluffy cardigan and it has these like little brown buttons on and yeah I think that's really cute it's super super comfy it's not a scratchy itchy fabric which I think is super important as soon as it's scratchy and itchy in the summer it's a no from me because well in the winter it's a no from me too but in the summer when you're hot you do not want something scratchy on you so yeah this is really cute and it's just something you can like take with you pop in your shoulder pop in your bag um in case you get a little bit chilly so I love that okay so now moving on to the dresses let's go um so this is the first one i got which is probably the most dressy up one i suppose because it's in a satin fabric it is bright bright blue but like i said i love a good bright color let me just do the zip up there so this is what it looks like it's basically got a cow neck and it has a kind of like feather kind of flower leaf print on it um i think this style is super flattering in a way that you don't have to wear a bodycon, say if you blow after lunch, you don't have to worry about that when you wear a loose dress like this. It's like loose, but fitted in areas like here and here. So it kind of looks cute as well. Um, so yeah, I really like this. And also you can adjust the straps to make the cow neck lower down or higher up, depending on how you want to wear it. So that will be good because it means you can wear it for like different occasions. Like on holiday, you might want to wear it lower down. If you're going out for a meal back home, you could do it up tighter, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, really like that. The next one is also a spoiler a dress I really like. So it is in blue, it's in a very stretchy fabric, but it makes it very comfortable. So it's like this milkmaid style top with this like daisy print on it. And it's just got like these ruched like sleeves and it's just a really, really short dress. That's the only downside I'd say. For holiday, this length is completely fine, but for wearing like, out where I live, I'd say it's a little short. So I guess you just have to kind of judge it with that. But I do think this is super flattering and I do really like this one. Okay, so this next one is this white dress. 
let me just tell you, it does not suit me. <laughs> um, I don't know how you'd wear this because if you don't wear a bra, it, you can see everything. If you do wear a bra, you can just see all your bra. So yeah, it's not for me. The color is not flattering for me because I thought, you know, like a white linen, that's nice for summer, but because I'm too pale, it just completely washes me out. It makes me look like I'm a ghost. So yeah, this isn't the most flattering style for me, but maybe you'll see it on and think, you know what, that definitely doesn't suit her, but it might work for me. So yeah. That is, it's a cute fabric for summer, like that really nice linen fabric. I do think it's gonna crease a lot though, and I don't wanna be dealing with ironing if I'm going on holiday, so yeah. Okay, so this is the next dress. I really love this off, and I really actually liked it on the model, but I don't think it quite suited me enough for me to keep it. So I like the red color, and I love the ruched, ruched sleeves, and the little love heart print, and I really like this keyhole detailing here. Um, it also has a nice frill at the bottom, but I just think where I'm a petite length, the length kind of fell in a way that looked me, made me look frumpy and it just, it wasn't loose enough or it wasn't tight enough. It was that weird in between where it's like not quite a great fit. Um, so I think this could be cute on some people. It just, it's not quite right for me. So yeah. Okay, so the next thing I got also has a milkmaid style top. So it's got like this lace up top here um, and like ruched sleeves and a little like gather at the waist tiny bit and then it's just flowing on the bottom. I completely don't think this color looks nice in person. It's a creamy color, kind of off-white. Again, doesn't suit my skin tone. Um, so some white things do suit me. Like I think this one looks okay. I'm not tanned right now and this looks okay on me. Um, but some things just wash you out and this is one of those things. It kind of looks a little bit frumpy, I think. Again, I think it could fit some people, but for me, I just, I was getting frumpy vibes and that's not how I want to feel on the holiday. I want to feel like hot girl summer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll shut up, but moving on swiftly to the next dress. Okay, so this is this green wrap dress. I'd say it's kind of a wrap dress. It's got a really no low V-neck and then at the side, it's just got this side split. I'm not a huge green fan, but it is growing on me, so I thought I'd try it out. Unfortunately, this just doesn't fit me quite right. It's too low here in the sense that you have to wear a bra, but also your bra shows. Um, and also, I'd say it's not tight enough for me on the waist. It looks frumpy. If it was maybe fitted at the waist more, I'd, if I'd sized down, because this was a size 10, so maybe I needed a size 8. Um, maybe, like, I've pulled it in on the try on, and you can see it fits a little bit nicer then. Um, yeah, maybe it could have worked, but this didn't quite work for me. So, you know, we've had a few hits, we've had a few misses. Now, moving on to the things that aren't specifically summer related, but they've got summer vibes, but they're like jumpers and tees. So, let's go. So, the first thing is this tee here. It's this smiley face print tee, and it's just got this tie-dye on. I'm kind of conflicted about this because I completely love the print. I love the style. I love it. But it's very, very cheap looking and feeling. So like this here feels, I'm not gonna lie, it feels nasty. So yeah, and like you can see the tie dye through the face, um, which I'm not 100% struck on. So I'm kind of conflicted about this. I also thought it was gonna fit oversized in a way where it like kind of covers your bum, covers your leggings, and it doesn't. <laughs> so I feel like if you wash this, I feel like it would shrink and then just be a weird fit. Um, so I'm kind of conflicted about this because I love the idea of it, but I'm not 100% set on it just yet. Okay, so to go with that, I also got the matching jumper. The matching jumper looks slightly more high class or better quality because it's actually got an embroidered smiley face, so you can't see the tie-dye through it. Um, so that's what it looks like. But I kind of wanted this in a slightly more oversized fit. It looks fine with shorts, but with trackies, it just looks a bit small. So yeah, I'm not sure about this. Another one I've got to decide on. But it is a really soft fabric, this one actually, just to know. So then, last but not least, maybe it is least, it's definitely not least because I was actually sent a jumper instead of shorts for one of them. So yeah, um, this is the last one. And it is this blue sweatshirt, which is tie dye. And this is huge. This is the fit I wanted in the other jumper. But unfortunately, this has that nasty, Smiley face. I like the smiley face, but the oh, the feel of it is disgusting, and you can see the tie dye for it again. So that kind of brings down the quality of it a little bit. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think this kind of thing is great for like an airport outfit and like a throw on over the beach when you go out in the evening. 
um but i'm just not sure how it's gonna wash and stuff so i'm not sure if i want to keep that yet or not so that is everything i bought from nasty girl i hope you enjoyed the haul i have literally never bought so much from one place in my whole entire life no joke um so yeah we're gonna be sending a lot of it back and I've, i feel guilty i'm not gonna lie about like um fast fashion shopping I went for a whole period of doing six months of not doing it. Um, I kind of felt weird about buying bikini secondhand though. And then I kind of just escalated that and bought other stuff to go with it. So yeah, I'm a sucker for sales. What can I say? 55% off. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the haul. And I hope it gave you some ideas for things that you could wear for summer, whether you think things will suit you or not um and yeah hopefully we'll get to have a summer hopefully 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 who knows at this point i'm filming this right now and it's the end of march almost april so this will definitely go up in april um if not later <laughs> um because i've got a few videos planned and scheduled to go up already edited um so yeah who knows if we're actually going to be allowed a summer at this point but um we'll see we'll see so i hope everyone is well i hope everyone is doing okay keeping themselves busy in the best way possible. So like not too busy, but like busy enough so you're not like stuck at home bored. Um, but I know a lot of us are in just really different situations right now. This is rambly, this was a haul. Let me stop right there. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you so, so much for watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, it would really mean a lot to me if you do. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>